I'm PC Martin Green of Lincolnshire Police Rural Crime Action Team. It's a new team being set up with, uh, at the moment, five officers. We're hopefully going to be introducing uh, three more officers into the team in the short time. The team is set up basically to target rural crime in the countryside. So we're looking at arson, fly tipping and other things such as wildlife crimes, uh, theft from farms, etc. I'm here today, I've come down to Roy Ward's farms to speak to Andrew Ward, who's a local farmer, and to see what issues he's faced with. We've been a victim of rural crime quite a number of times, and you personally and Lincolnshire Police have been really good and very helpful over the years that we've had the issues. Some time ago, you were assaulted in a hair coursing incident, yep. weren't you? You were yep. quite badly assaulted. What happened basically there? We had some hair coursers back in the farm behind us and they were in the middle of the farm in a vehicle right in the middle of one of the fields. And so I went up to them and asked them what they were doing, which was obvious. And then the minute I got nearer to the vehicle, uh, they started up and named the vehicle for me and, and hit me on the side of my leg. Uh, I rolled over the bonnet onto the floor. I had to drag my legs out the way, otherwise they'd have run me over. Um, and then I got somebody else to come to me to help me up because I was injured and with then followed this vehicle out across four more fields back onto a main road and uh, at three points did they stop and try to reverse into us and, and ram us into the dike and then we got the number from them of course it was a false number and then three weeks later this uh, same vehicle that was very distinguished because it had different colored doors on it was a pickup truck with a different registration number on was spotted in Newark we got the number um, reported it in and within I think half an hour this house in Newark got a call from your colleagues and uh, and these guys were arrested. Eventually it went to court and the offender he got three years uh, in prison. So basically a successful prosecution by Lincolnshire Police yeah. but, but driven by the farming community as well wasn't it at the time. Yes, it, it End was. of the day we, we, we want you to be looked after by us all right you mm. can come to us if there's a problem all right mm. and know that we will deal with it. Yeah. So just driving down the road here at uh, Leadenham Lowfield, just off the A17, and I've just seen in a field entrance here some tire marks across a drilled field. And this isn't normal behaviour, obviously from a farmer, and there's your tire marks. It's obviously somebody who's been out uh, hair coursing, night poaching, or something like that. So we've had a look around, there's nothing here obviously now, so uh, we're going to move on and see what else we can find. So as we were coming away from the field in relation to the tyre marks, we'd seen, obviously from nighttime poachers. There was a vehicle parked in the field. It looked like an Ace Classic hair coursing vehicle to me. So we've approached it, spoken to the, uh, the occupant, who's actually the local dog walker. So there was actually no issues whatsoever. But he, he, he appreciated being stopped and spoken to. just come down the high dike here at uh, near RAF Cranwell and we're looking for fly tipping. Within minutes of arriving here we've come across them. There's a number of pieces as we go down which is basically garden waste that's been dumped but obviously this it's been a quite some time and we're obviously on a site of special scientific interest as well so and it's going to cost us the taxpayer to obviously collect this up. So we're here with Debbie Nunn who's the, uh, the sergeant for the Rural Crime Action Team and uh, Debbie, talk about the uh, what's going on. 
Well, Martin, uh, this is a triple SI site, and it's a site of special scientific interest because of the wildlife. And somebody has been here and just put cement here, bags here, which is harmful to the wildlife and the environment because it could be leaking, leaking toxins into the ground. It's an eyesore to people walking down and people walking the dogs and the community. Somebody's got to pay to actually have this removed, but somebody thought it was acceptable just to come and leave this debris here and we're supposed to be looking after our planet we only have like one planet and this is what people think is acceptable and it's not okay then Debbie, what what can we do about this well ideally if people when they see this and see this being actually dumped here and now they can report it to us call us on the three nines we should be coming out to this if people are doing it here and now or potentially even speaking to our partner agencies getting gates across this dirt track in order to stop vehicles having access because this has clearly been brought in a vehicle nobody's walked and carried this here Basically what we can be doing is actually enforcing the law, getting the council involved, uh, the environmental uh, department of the council, and obviously if we've got any evidence whatsoever of the, of the, of the offence here, so if we found evidence, a number plate or paperwork, we could pass that information on to the council where action could be taken against the, the fly tippers. One time, you know, we used to have loads and loads of thefts of trailers and quads and everything else in this area. And it always used to come here. So just at the manor corner here, there's a, uh, some works going on on a new pipeline going through the county. And it's going to stop and check and have a word about the, the plant theft issues and see if they've had any issues here. been talking to the manager of the site here uh, it's basically it's a water pipe going from Grantham to Lincoln they've got a lot of plant machinery behind me as you can see some of the stuff they've got here is worth many hundreds of thousands of pounds he's very very aware of the security issues in relation to plant theft so they've got security cameras they've got security on site as well so it's nice to see people that are taking responsibility for their equipment There's hundreds, if not thousands of churches throughout the United Kingdom. Very, very similar to this church behind me. There's an awful lot of issues in relation to criminal damage, theft from, and, and desecration of the graves, etc., in, in our churches. Damage to the roof, such as the lead thefts, which we've had in the past. When we're getting thefts of lead taken from these sort of churches, there's not the insurance companies that ordinarily pay for it. It's the local people have to try and get the money back to get it sorted. I'm a church warden in my local community. We had our lead stolen, £35,000 to repair. Luckily we got some lottery funding, but we also had to go around the, the local people, cap in hand, asking for money, begging for money. So what we're asking the people to do is if they see people acting suspiciously in the churches, they're causing any damage, Stealing bricks from the area, slabs off the footpaths, or lead from the roofs, is to report it straight away to the police. end of the day now we've had a few things we've been around we've been around checking on farms checking on building sites and of course the churches we want to put out the message 
that Lincolnshire isn't an easy target. You can't come to Lincolnshire and hit our churches, hit our farms, you know, come hair coursing, poaching. It's not home. You know, the Rural Crime Action Team will be coming for you, we will be looking at you, and we will be targeting you and prosecuting you. And if need be, we'll be taking your dogs off of you, your cars off of you. We're coming for you.